Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. So today guys, we're gonna be working on the 335. So I got a part in, finally, the second part that we need to, to kind of purge valve that releases pressure, you know, hence, hence. The thing is, this part's located in the front end of the car, so I don't know how that relates to anything with the EVAP system, but it's saying that connects to the full EVAP system. So we're gonna replace that part. Hopefully that goes well, but that'll be like in the end of the video because it's gonna be, I'm gonna be doing that tomorrow. Today, guys, I don't know if you guys can see, we have the X5. This is like the the, the kind of new generation, 2011. Um, this is my cousin's X5. Beautiful car, twin turbo. We're actually just doing an oil change, and it's crazy how much easier this is compared to your G37. Don't tell them how long it took us. It's, so. Yeah, let's just say it's really embarrassing yeah, if we embarrassing. tell you guys how long it took them it's to do it. It's embarrassing to this guy, the one in the back. Huh? He, he didn't know how to do it, okay? And you didn't know I mean, how to do it either. I mean, it's the first time, I don't know. Okay, well, I don't know what to do. But for your brother and him, come on, man, it's embarrassing. It was like the third time or the second time. You want to tell me how long it took? No, I'm good. <laughs> I mean, so, let's just say we took it out. It's all done. It's done. It's done. Let's just say we saw the sun and then we didn't see the sun. <laughs> so let's just say he went to class and he came back and we didn't finish it. <laughs> and this class was no ordinary class. It was a long ass <laughs> class. But anyways guys, we're going to show you guys the X5 oil change. It's pretty much just a drain plug and you don't even have to jack up the car. So it makes life a whole lot easier. And then you just got to loosen up the filter, replace the filter, put in the oil. It's very easy. So I'll set you guys up. Let's get to it. My heart. Think you really own me? Not a start. Still feels like the old me. Cause I've been feeling down. It's <laughs> 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 a bottle. كل لازم طلع. هذي فلوس هذي صح؟ So that was a very quick and easy oil change. Honestly, BMWs, I think, are one of the easiest ones to do oil changes, mainly because the filter is not on the bottom of the car, it's on the top. And I think that's way smarter and better. And when it's on the bottom, it's kind of a hassle. Anyway, so we got that done. Now, I just want to go ahead and make a video on this guy because, not only make a video, but I just want to really shout out Ansel again for sending me out this battery scanner. You guys know me, I've always been doing projects and normally the cars that I get have dead batteries and I, you know, I need to test if it's the battery or it's the alternator. So at least we know where to go from from there and see if the battery's even good, should we throw it out and buy a new one? So this really comes in handy. I'll have a link down to this, I mean for this down in the description. We're gonna go ahead and test it on the X5 because the X5 does have some startup issues in the morning. So we're gonna go ahead and test it. Never used it before, but if it's, uh, if it's easy, I'll let you guys know. If it's hard, I'll let y'all know. All right guys, here's the battery. Every other BMW, they have that stupid stuff on top. We're gonna go ahead and plug in the positive and negative and test out the, the power of the battery. All right guys, so I was actually looking at how to turn this thing on and now it's on, but when I disconnect this, it's off. So, so how, how do we, yeah. So to, yeah. To turn it on, you to all you gotta do is plug it in right here. You guys can hear that. And now it's on, it's gonna tell you is it 12 volts or 24. Most modern cars are 12. Battery capacity. So this we went to charge system and we turned it on. Minimum is 12.43, maximum is 13.3, I guess. No, here max is 15. That's crazy, you guys saw the volts go down, now it's shooting up because it's getting charged by the alternator. Rev it. So you guys can see that it's going up. Um, so volt right now is at 14.6. It looks like a pretty healthy battery to me. Yo, bro, it is not a battery issue. Alright guys, it is the next day and I'm dressed up in some pretty bad clothes, mainly because we're gonna go back in the engine bay and we're gonna try to figure out what the hell is going on with my car. So, a lot of you guys saying that it could be the purge, ventilation valve, purge valve, something like that along those lines. And this all came back to the same thing when I looked it up. So, the weird thing is, it's actually located in the engine bay, which sucks the bootay because it's a lot of work. Um, I have to remove a lot of things and hopefully it's on top. I don't really know. There wasn't actually a DIY on this. There was a DIY on a 328, but you guys know that the filter box and everything are not in the same spot as the 328 and the 328 doesn't have a charge pipe. So, or at least I don't think it does. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. So anyways, that stuff is not in the way, unlike the N54, it's in the way. So we're gonna go ahead and sit you guys down, get to that, remove the part, we're waiting on the, the delivery truck, the FedEx truck, because the part hasn't even came in yet. But I'm gonna get this part out. By the time the FedEx truck comes, we can install it back in. So from what I saw, guys, it's somewhere over here down there. So all this stuff's gonna get out of the way. I'm just trying for redemption. I've been feeling down, 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 down. Then I wake up. I'm 
Gotta run it round, 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 round for the fix stuff. Alright guys, your boy is dummy, dummy happy. Finally got this thing out. So oh dear heavens, oh dear. Anyways, so basically how I got this out, there's a cable here, plugs in. I unplugged that, it was, this, is easy, this is super easy. Like this, if you can't do this, then at this point, just quit. But I mean, this is very easy. Um, this one took a little bit of prying. What I realized that worked for both of these is that when you actually click it and try to twist it off, it works a whole lot better than rather just trying to push it in and try to pry it off. Try to push it in and try to twist it off. That came out first. And the reason why I went for this one first is because as you can see, there's some rubber right here. And the only way for this thing to come out is if you push this way. So you can't actually push on this until this hose is out. I mean, you get, I guess you can, but you could ruin this hose. So what I did is take out this one, this one, and then when I push this one, I squeeze it out, and then I pull the rubber off. And then that's how I got the whole thing out. Um, I don't really know how you can tell if this is good or bad, but I'm hoping this is my problem. I ordered the parts coming in in a few minutes. Once it gets here, we'll install it, turn on the car, and uh, you know, we'll see, hopefully. In the meantime, while you know that hose is out and I'm waiting for the new purge valve, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys something super sick. Uh, so I had uh, one of you guys reach out to me and say you can help me do a diagnostics on this car using Insta, something like that, instead of Inpa, something newer. I'm not sure. He's actually upstairs right now. Well, he's not actually upstairs. He's taking over my computer and he's doing the coding. Um, and don't worry, this computer is just BMW stuff, strictly BMW stuff. It has none of my personal stuff in there, so I'm not that stupid. But just in case, just in case, you know, I, I mean, you don't want to leave your personal laptop with everything you have with someone you don't know. So it's just, you know, being extra cautious. But I mean, he's a good guy. Um, he actually helped me code something yesterday, um, which is pretty sick. I never even heard of this before. So let me show you guys what my car can do now. I'll probably make an in-depth video on how you guys can do this down the road if you guys want it. But basically, I click the hazards. Look at the hazards. Hold on, what is going on? Okay, there we go. So I don't know if you see that. But it blinks like blink, 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 blink. Super dope. I don't know. I mean, I, I think that's a really cool thing. I'll show you guys the sides right here. It makes it look like it's a, it's like a police car. So I, <laughs> I think that's kind of dope. I mean, especially when I make all these lights white, it's gonna be super clean. You can even hear it in the car. I don't know, that's something I just found kind of cool. Um, he did code that for me, and then he's downloading the software to do uh, diagnostics and to hopefully fix my CCC unit. Um, my amp did flood while the car was outside because you guys know that crack in the, the trunk. It's all good, it's all good, you know, it's life. Ooh, I heard the sell sign. Oh, I hope I sold something. <laughs> I'm hello, I... Thank you, Yusuf. <laughs> Anyways, guys, so we just, put it, we just went ahead, put in the purge, this is considered like the fuel vent um, line, so that's what it's considered. It's also called like a purge line, whatever. Damn. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, look good, man. Thanks, bro. I mean, I look kind of shady, but anyways, literally. Anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and take it out for a drive, and we're gonna hope to God, you know, the fuel tank doesn't pressurize. We're gonna go out, take it for a drive, and we'll see. But everything's hooked up. Thanks, Yusuf. Before, thanks, uh, thanks. What happened? And before you start, say Bismillah. So, Bismillah. good luck. Hey, Allah. Bismillah. Hey, Allah. Sounds good. Now we're gonna go out for a short drive and hopefully the tank is not pressurized. You think it's gonna work? Thank you. Inshallah. Inshallah. Oh yeah, look, Mackie, look, put yeah. your hands Yo, on Yo, check car. this out though. Before we actually drive, check this out. This is a, this is a mod they programmed. Oh, damn. You Ooh. see the lights? It looks like oh, a police thing. thing, yeah. It blinks like... Oh, yeah, yeah, I see it. Instead of... Ting, yeah, yeah, ting. Yeah, yeah. Does it give you extra horsepower? Extra five horsepower. Fuck oh damn. damn! I'll still dust him though. You, you can't even I'll dust still me dust, stop. dust you, bro. You can't even dust me, stop. Yeah, right. <laughs> no radio. I think he, I don't know if he needs any help. The moment of truth, Noor. Oh, I'm so scared. Yeah, damn. Guys, I really don't know what it is. I have no idea. Damn. I think we're gonna go out. I'm gonna try to fill it up with some gas, guys, and we're gonna see if it's still pressurized. Like, maybe because it's out of gas. It could be because it's low on fuel. So I'll try to put up some gas in there. One. Oh, boy.
see how long it'll take before it cuts out. Unless there could be a line clogged somewhere and that's something I can't, you know, that's something you're gonna have to do a diagnostic for and they're gonna have to unclog that line. So I have no idea. All right guys, so we're here at Nilo BMW. I'm dropping off this car right here, mainly because I couldn't figure it out and I'm not trying to deal with it anymore. I'm just gonna pay a diagnostic and get a peace of mind already because I'm tired of it. So uh, let's go ahead and see what happens. If you see it, you're gonna buy it today. 13,000. No, no, but where is the cars pass. that he was saying? He said there was like some new cars inside. Yeah, no way, man. Look at that. Look at that muscle. Actually, look at this thing. Look at that Nardo gray BMW though. Let's go inside real quick. There's some, there's some new cars. You get it? Hmm? Only if only this thing would autofocus. Wow, guys, look at that M3. Oh, wow. Ooh, dude, the hood is new. Actually, I've never seen the hood like that, guys. No, I don't like it. Wow. Just yeah, I know. Wow, that's how I see like this is like is this like I'm pretty sure this is a custom package, dude. Yeah, this is some kind of package. Yeah, I knew it. It's an M3 CS. I've honestly never seen this before. Um, probably starts at 100. I'm assuming. And then there's just a two series, I believe. Guys, it's just such beautiful cars. My goodness, I don't even know. But honestly, I think if I go for the M car, it's gonna be a coupe. You gotta might as well get the full sportiness, right, Brian? Hey, let's go. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have a headache. Headache? Why? Those cars are beautiful. <laughs> Red interior, 4, 440 at, so technically the 435, but they just decided to put it a new name. Beautiful car. Wow, guys, this is one of the goals, one Does of the goals for the channel. Huh? Does it fit me? I have to be a fitzy, don't worry. You should get this, honestly, go trade in your car. Beautiful car. This car, 4,000 of it. <laughs> you don't even count the bonds. <laughs> I'm going to love it. What's up, guys? <laughs> Get your fat booty. Anyways, 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 we're back home, guys. And uh, basically, I just Yo, ripped. Oh, the garage sale, man. Hmm? All right, ladies, if you want to buy one of those beautiful mufflers, this is $10. This is $5. Literally a car garage, BMW garage sale. Imagine we put up a sign saying BMW garage sale. <laughs> I wonder how much people would come. Ibrahim, by the way, guys, is uh, painting his lip because uh, his lip was disgusting, right? Yeah. Nice mask, by the way. Thanks. No worries. So we just dropped off the car at BMW, and unfortunately, they said it's an 80% fix, but they say that in general, like it's an 80% chance we'll, fi we'll figure it out, 20% we're not. But if they don't figure it out, I uh, let's just say I'll be very upset in the next video. <laughs> Never mind. I don't understand. All right, you just saw some professional painting back there. Trying to get to the point here, but everyone keeps cutting me off. I'm hoping they can figure it out, guys. If they can't figure it out, I'm gonna be very upset. But uh, they will, bro. It's BMW. It's BMW. Let's just say if they don't figure it out, um, I'm gonna we'll be buy a new car. Well, I buy a new car. I'm never trusting BMW ever again. So um, you know, I'm gonna put Nilo BMW on the spot here, see if they can figure out my car. I'll give them an address, man. So if, if they don't fix it, they don't it's Nilo the BMW. If they don't fix it. I'm done. If they fix it, they're getting a shout out. But I mean, we'll see. We'll see. How are you gonna give BMW a shout out? How do they need me? Anyways. Anyways, you gotta conclude the video now. Um, wish me luck. One like is one prayer. So if you guys to smash a like button. All right, I'm done. <laughs> that guy keeps cutting me off. One like is one prayer, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh my God. Peace out. She got me saying, Yalla, baby. I need you to see me. With the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. She got me saying, Y'all love, baby. I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. You know.